The Z Corporation here in Burlington is an unassuming yet very interesting company that provides a product that does something that is just plain super cool. The Z Corporation develops, builds, and sells network printers that create not images, but three-dimensional objects. Paying a visit to Z Corp, B News' Phil Gallagher met with Joseph Titlow, Vice President of Product Management at Z Corporation. The technology was originally developed at MIT. Uh, one of the labs doing pure research came up with this basic idea of printing, not in 2D, but actually in 3D. And so by leveraging a print engine that's normally used to print on paper, they were able to print in a powder and create physical objects with 3D printing. Uh, so the very base of the technology was developed there. Z Corporation was founded specifically to take that technology and kind of make it into a public company um, you know, that can bring this technology to the public. So this is right out of the science fiction book. You make a picture of it and then you create it? Yeah, it's really incredible. Anything you can design in a computer. So if I can open up a computer, create a three-dimensional design of something, I can now hit print and create a physical object, something you can hold in your hand, an actual tangible thing comes right out of our machine, and you're able then to you know, use it for any number of, um, kind of reasons. From shoe companies to the medical industry, to Formula One racing and aerodynamics, Z Corp is improving market productivity. Anybody that, that you think of as manufacturing a tangible object, um, designing a tangible object, is kind of a prospect or an existing customer of ours. Anywhere from aerospace, designing large you know, aircraft, all the way down to cell phones and smaller objects. Uh, everything in between, something physical. So the, you, know, you think about this model right in front of us. Uh, somebody designed this bottle, um, and they actually put a lot of time and effort into designing the bottle to make sure that the, the grip is just right, that the graphics look good, that the, you know, the top works the way that it should, that fluids flow out of it. You know, there's a lot of considerations in that design, and so what our technology allows is the designer to pull this design out of the computer and then use it in studies and say, hey, what do you think of this? Architecture is also another industry being changed by Z Corp's innovations. So as an architect, I have a vision uh, for a product. And now I can, uh, in, in this case, the product is a building. And I want to convey my vision so I can put it into a computer. And so I can design in a computer. And I can show you my computer screen, but you may not quite get it. But if I show you this, I show you a model of what it's going to be that has every little detail down to the brick and the size of the overhangs and, and kind of complete imagery as to what it is, you very quickly and intuitively get a sense for what my design was. Mm -hmm. And then we can have a conversation about the design. And so you might be a client of mine and we're looking to improve the design, but you might be a zoning board of appeals that you know, wants to understand what something's really going to look like. And if you're just going with sketches or printouts or a computer screen, it doesn't always come across as, you know, as completely as it could with a full kind of color, highly detailed uh, three-dimensional model. Okay, well, you're in Burlington. You've been here for a while. You moved up to Second Ave. Apparently, uh, uh, you're going to be expanding further. What do you find uh, interesting about being in Burlington? Oh, we love being in Burlington. I mean, I think just being at the center of what seems like this, uh, I think it's you know, the technology corridor here, um, all the great facilities that are around. We certainly um, really like being in Burlington. We originally were uh, founded and a company was started in Somerville and then came out to here to be a little bit more convenient location, a little bit larger building. As you said, we needed to grow. And so this is our second location in Burlington. Uh, we're actually, as we continue to grow, looking for a third location and we're trying very hard to make it still in this area in Burlington. With the exponential advancement of technology these days, 3D printers may become more and more common, and someday you may even have one in your home. From the Z Corporation, for Phil Gallagher, I'm B News reporter Tad Stefanak. Now back to the studio.